Okay, I'm going to show you how to open up Pro Tools and install uh, or import, sorry, a QuickTime Movie and the two OMF files for the by the Winter Sea exercise. So this is how to import OMFs and video into Pro Tools. So I'm going to open up Pro Tools while I'm waiting. Just have a look here. This is the folder with all the media in, and I've got a QuickTime Movie by the Winter Sea. PIX, which is about 73 megabytes, and an OMF uh, of dialogues and an OMF of effects. Okay, so when you get to the splash screen at the start, uh, instead of doing what you might think, open session and going straight to the OMFs, I'm going to create a blank session first. The reason for that is I want to create my tracks before I import them. So I'm going to call it by the winter sea and then put today's date. I'm going to save it on the desktop. So it opens up with the usual blank page. A couple of things I need to check first of all, make sure that I'm working in time code. And I can create some new tracks. Now I know there's something like I might need up to 16 tracks, so I'm going to type in 16 here. I'm going to make them mono to begin with, um, just for the sake of this exercise. Hit create. And if, when you make yours, they come up as large tracks to begin with, okay, if I can just click on the right thing, you can make them smaller. Track height. They start off large like that. You can press the Alt key, click on that little arrow, and go to small. There's all my tracks. OK, 16 blank tracks. Now I'm going to import the video. So I go to File, Import, Video. Navigate my way into that folder where all the stuff is, which is called Audio Exercise. By the way, to see pix.mov. It's a QuickTime movie, only about 73 megabytes big, not, not very big file size. Hit open, and it's going to want to know where do you want to put the video. It can put it where your cursor is, it can put it in the beginning of the session. Uh, we want it at the session start. It also asks you if you want to import the audio from the file. There are reasons why you might want to. In this case, I'm not going to but you can import the audio if you want and use it as a guide. So I'm going to hit open and the video track is placed at the top of the timeline in quite a large window. I'll just scroll through and I can make sure it's working. That seems to be working fine, but I'm going to make the window smaller and put it out of the way. If for any reason the video doesn't appear, um, you need to just go to window and select video, make sure video is ticked. So that's the pictures. Now I'm going to import the dialogue tracks from the editor, if you like. The editor's exported an OMF file. So I'm going to go to file, import, and although you'd think it would be audio, it's not. It's session data, because an OMF contains time code information, position information, all sorts of things. So navigate to the folder which contains your OMF by the Winter Sea Dialog OMF. Hit open and you'll get a very large import session data dialog box. Lots of things to think about. I'll just take it from the top here. Timecode mapping. Map start timecode to 01 hours 0000, which is the beginning of our session in this case. You can put in an offset if you want the pictures to start somewhere else. Don't worry about these for the moment, although you can have other options. You can copy from the source media into your Pro Tools folder, which might be something you'd want to do to have everything in one place. I'm going to import the clip gain. That's quite important. That means that any levels that the editor has placed in his timeline or her timeline will carry across in the OMF, and any Volume automation, in other words, volume ramping, is going to be there as well. I'm not going to pan odd and even tracks left and right because dialogues are usually mono. 
Now, because I've created my own tracks, I can hit match tracks and it will put track 1 to track 1, track 3 to track 3, track 4 to track 4. So there's only three dialogue tracks here. I'm just going to swap it a bit and go 1, 2, 3. So the original OMF tracks are going to be mapped to my new audio tracks 1, 2 and 3. Hit OK. And there's what looks like my audio tracks. Just have a quick play, make sure they play. Those soldiers who were lucky enough to get home safely. We had no and then check for lip sync. I can see that's in sync, so that's good. So I've got all these spare tracks left, tracks four to sixteen. I'm going to go back and bring in the effects now. So file import session data effects OMF. The effects OMF contains many more tracks and so its file size is bigger, 227 megabytes. Hit open. And it's slightly different this time because each OMF puts its track assignment from the beginning. I've already got a track one to three now, so I'm going to start my new my effects track on track five. So I'm going to go five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. The reason I didn't start on track four, because I've got that track available, is that I'm trying to keep a regular left, right, left, right option. And, um, oops, 12, track 13, track 14. So if I start importing this effect on track 5, effectively I'm going odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, which is good if I wanted to pan them left, right, and left, and right again in the future. That's, that's the all, really. So these are all my effects. I've mapped them to my own created tracks. Starting at track 5. I'm going to import the gain again and the volume. This time I am going to pan my tracks left and right, odd and even, because a lot of the effects are actually stereo, and that's just going to save me time if I do that now. Back to the time code mapping, map the start time code to one hours, as I did with everything else. I'm going to ignore this other stuff for now and hit OK. And very quickly it's imported all of that audio, which is this stuff, the effects. So there's a lot happening now. We've got steam trains, whistles, the whole works, and the time, the waveforms are beginning to be drawn in all of these effects pretty quickly. Once I've got that far, I'm definitely going to hit save. In fact, I'm going to hit, well, I have, I've hit save because save is grayed out now. So I know if anything happens now, I've got everything stored. And that's how you import OMF files and video files.